Hey, so this is a very short core sequence and I'll probably say it's more conditioning type. So let's get started. All you need is a mat and let's get you started on some brutal core work. So the first thing that we're going to do is take our feet, knees, hip distance apart. We're gonna lower down our body with control and come onto the mat. Taking a deep breath in, fingertips alongside your mat. Take palms down into the floor. And we're gonna push up. Our heels are pushing into the ground. Our knees are pulling away from midline and we're squeezing our glutes, making sure we've got a nice straight line from our knees and our hips to our shoulders. Now we don't want to be arching that back and over pronunciating that chest. We want to push down into the floor a little bit more with our mid back and keeping a nice straight line with our body. We're squeezing the glutes and making sure we're firing into those hamstrings. Now here we're going to stay for 20 seconds, okay? So taking a deep breath in through your nose, exhale through your mouth. You can either keep your hands on your hips just to make sure you're nice and even, or you can keep your hands grounded into the floor. Halfway. You're gonna feel the squeeze, the firing into the glutes. Keep breathing. Beautiful, lower down with control. And this time, we're gonna stick our fingertips up towards the sky, our knees into tabletop. So this is where we're gonna really work into our back our belly button, but we're making sure our back is in neutral by pushing our lower back into the floor. Take a deep breath in, we're going to extend our right leg out towards the floor, coming straight back into centre. Extend the left, keeping our arms where they are, back to centre. Right is extended, back to centre. See if you can squeeze the glutes as you lower down towards the floor. Belly button pulled in as you bring those legs back to centre. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one. Beautiful. Taking those hands onto the floor, sticking those legs straight up to the sky. Taking a deep breath here, without putting any pressure with our hands, I'm going to lift my glutes up towards the sky. Yeah? So all I'm doing is gentle pulses, lifting my bum up and really working on the core, pulling my belly button in towards the spine, down towards the mat. Four, three, two, one, hold position, stretch those fingertips up towards the toes and pulse for 10. Six, five, Four, three, two, one, beautiful. This time, extending those feet out ahead of you, we're gonna come into a sit up cross crunch. So as we curl up to a seated position, we're gonna lift our knee towards our elbow as we rotate, yeah? Lower down with control. And the hardest part for this one, it's not the coming up or the crossing over, it's the resisting gravity, so we can utilize that eccentric movement, pulling our belly button in as we use control to come up and rotate, use control to lower down as we come back up and rotate. Now, if you notice my free hand, I'm just guiding myself. I don't want to pull on my neck. I don't want to put any resistance around my cervical spine and when I rotate, I really want to pull my opposite elbow back, yeah? Last one, curl up, nice and controlled, cross and rotate, taking, I'm focusing on my elbow, that's reversing, beautiful. Push those feet back into the mat, we're going to do the whole sequence again, we're going to take it up another level. If you prefer the first level, go there. Only you know what's best for your body at this present time. We're gonna lower with our glutes, push up into a bridge. Lower down, and we're gonna go for 20 pulses here, okay? 17, 16, 15, 
lifting, nice and slow, nice and controlled. Remember, we squeeze our glutes to the sky, opening up our hips. Good. Seven, six, last five, four, three, two, one and hold, hold for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, lower down with control. Feet into tabletop, hands straight up to the sky. Take a deep breath in. We're gonna extend our legs out into a 45 degree and our arms out to a 45 degree. So again, if you wanted to just do legs only, you can. If you wanted to do arms only, do so. If you wanted to really push your body, just make sure your lower back is pushing into the floor before your limbs extend out from midline. As you inhale, back to center. Exhale, extend. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, extend. Two more. Exhale, pushing that back into the floor. Inhale. Exhale, extend. We are not done with the legs yet. We're going to take them straight up towards the sky. Arms alongside your body. Remember, we're not pushing into our hand. We're just making sure they're nice and stable for us. We're going to push up for 10. Lifting our hips up off the mat. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it up. Taking those fingertips up towards the toes and pulse for ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. This time, Extend those legs out. We're going to come for six on each side. As we curl up, pull our belly button in, cross over, open our opposite elbow before we lower down with control. Come all the way back up and rotate. Now the whole point of this one is you might want to go fast, but you're going to get so much more benefit by taking it slow and lower with control. Inhale, lift, exhale, rotate. Make sure you're keeping nice and tall when you sit up. We want to keep a straight spine as we come up and then we rotate with our back arm guiding us towards the back of the room. Exhale. Good. Last one. Lift, rotate. Lower, control, lift, rotate, lower, control. Good, we've got one more round left. And hopefully you're feeling this in your core, but this time, feet hip distance apart. They were feet hip distance. We're gonna bring them in to closed, yeah? In this position, remember, you can hold isometrically or you can come up for pulses. Our next level would be single leg. We're gonna lower down with control. Pulse for 10, nine, eight, really push that left heel into the floor. Last five, four, three, two, one. Lower down with control. Lift up that left leg, this time driving that right foot into the ground. 10 here. Four, three, two, nice job. Taking it all the way down. Lower back into the floor. Just make sure you're nice and even with the back, with the hips. Think it straight up towards the sky, knees up to tabletop. You've got your options here. You can either do legs only, you can do arms only, or you can do both at the same time. So we're gonna go for six if you're coming with me. Pushing our lower back into the floor as we come back to center. Four, nice and controlled. Three, make sure you pause right at the top. Two, last one. 
Beautiful. Now in this position, lifting our legs up towards the sky, we're going to drop our hands down just for support and not pushing into the ground. We're going to pulse up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift up those hands, toe tap for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower with control. You can keep a bend into the legs if you're feeling a little bit tight. If you're feeling okay, draw up, curl up to a sitting position. Rotate the opposite arm back. Extend with control. Inhale and lift up to seated position. Cross and rotate. Try and bring that knee in as close as you can to the elbow. Exhale, extend. Inhale, lift, exhale, rotate, inhale, exhale, up, rotate, good, we've got two more on each side, lift, rotate, lower, control, lift, rotate, keep that chest up, spine nice and straight as you sit, Last one, lift and rotate, good. Last one, last side, lift and rotate, lower with control, beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. Now if you wanna chill out here for a moment, chill out. But whatever you do, I hope you have a great day. Make sure you click subscribe and you know where to go for my website and YouTube channel. Have a great day.